And while a handful of homes will be moving out, county officials hear teardown plans for others. Live in high definition, this is KX News. Good evening and thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Sean Sipma. And I'm Alicia Huck. In a booming economy and a hot housing market, it's almost unimaginable that a completely remodeled house would be worth zero, at least to a bank. But that's what one family was told when their rebuilt flooded house was appraised just as they were getting ready to sell it. More now on what's behind this Flood Valley property debacle. Moving on from the 2011 Moss River flood has been anything but easy for the Petcheriches. Through loans taken out with the SBA, they rebuilt their flooded house and moved back home. Recently, when they added on to their family, they simply ran out of room and put their home up for sale. And that's when the bottom fell out. I recently even had an offer. So um, that fell through due to an appraisal on this house. The appraisal listed the Petcheridge's home value as zero, worthless to a lender because it sits in the middle of the proposed Maple diversion of the flood protection plan. I was completely shocked. I was devastated. I can't even really put it into words. Not able to get financing for the home, the buyers backed out, and the home they were hoping to buy in Minot is now out of reach. The appraiser who filed the paperwork declined to give an official comment on the appraisal, stating privacy concerns. But we talked with other appraisers in Minot who strongly disagree with the finding of zero value. And here's where the problem compounds even further. The zero value appraisal was filed with the Federal Housing Administration, or FHA, and now by law stays with the property for 120 days. Minot City Finance Director Cindy Hemphill says this is a deeply concerning issue for the city. That homeowner has fixed their home, they've been living in it, and the city, they're, they're paying property taxes. That home has a value. Because the home was rehabilitated, likely that price would be fair market value. Even properties that were not even gutted, that, you know, are filled with mold today and haven't been touched since the flood all have a value and if those come on the market there are buyers willing to pay money for that so when you have a renovated property being renovated on a scale of 1 to 10 their house is a 12 and the value comes in at zero it is mind-blowing under current FHA rules and regulations a new appraisal can't be done for six months with these unusual circumstances, U.S. Senator John Hovind says he's taking on the issue. One of the things we're doing is we're checking with FHA, the Federal Housing Administration, to see if they can make an exception under their appraisal rules because recognize that for those homes, if they're going to be purchased or bought out at a later date, they're going to be bought out at market value. The rehabilitated homes in the proposed diversion, like the Petcheriches, are in a sense a short-term housing solution for a potential buyer. And they're guaranteed a return on their investment for both the buyer and the bank because if the flood protection plans pans out and the properties are bought out, the owners will be due the fair market value of their home, certainly not zero. But that zero staring at the Petcheriches from their home's appraisal made their rocky recovery from the flood of 2011 more uncertain than ever. To carry on with our lives and, and put the flood behind us, it's just proven to be even more difficult. In Minot, Sean Sipma, KX News. Well, some are looking to sell, re